Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I am Crazy Kirby 97 In the last episode, we basically just went and discovered our first world and got a few things here. But for this episode, we're going to learn a new move, our first one here. Okay. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold D, then press the left C button. Continue to hold D while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. I know a lot of people sound weird when they're reading that, just because, yeah, it's very hard to keep up with the text and how it functions. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. <coughs> that was a castle. Just a little... Oh, wait. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Okay, this is a little beta note to this game. I found a nice collection of beta videos, and one of them is all about this level. You can look up Mumbo's Mountain Beta, you'll probably find it. And there's a couple more things, like, you probably didn't know, is Gratilda's Lair actually was named Gratilda's Castle at first. And before that even became true, uh, Gruntilda was a giant, not a witch. And it was actually called the Giant's Castle. So, a little interesting. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use all some ammo. I sound like a Toy Story character. That was random. Okay, so honestly, a lot of people voted that I don't do this game, and I do either Sunshine or Ocarina of Time instead. But honestly, I believe that everyone who voted that has never even touched this game before. And I'm just going to suggest to you guys who did vote for something different, actually watch this LP. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. I'm sorry I pressed B with that. But anyways. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying was, if you've never played this game before, um, there's nothing really to spoil in this game, although I wouldn't watch it if you're scared of watching, like, the entire game and having it all, all the levels and stuff spoiled. No, we can't do that yet. Oh, here. Can you hear the... Three, two, two. Mumbo stars are born. Feed us with nice new stuns. I forget, I heard that. We had a lot of jokes with that in this game. So the Jiggy and Mumbo's Eye here. This level is kind of like a training level, so there's not very many hard Jiggies here. Uh, what I was saying was, uh, if you've never played this game before, you don't really care about, like, the spoiling where all the items are at and all that. I really do suggest you watch this LP from beginning to end. If you don't really plan on playing this game anytime soon, you, you don't have to. You don't have to buy it or anything. And just for the record, if anyone wants to play along and they don't own this game, they want to get a copy of it, don't go hunting for the N64 version. If you've never played this game before and you're using the LP, buy the Xbox version. Trust me. You can leave the level, come back, and your musical notes and Jinjos will be perfectly fine. Now back to our game. Back to our regularly scheduled, ban scheduled banjo. I call this the Beat Buster. Jump into the air and then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard to the, down to the floor. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. That's kind of weird. I'm like a Dead Space character, maybe. Not even that. Mass Effect character. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I'm not a very big fan of that game. I actually, uh, I don't like games with a lot of cutscene and shit. It just bothers me. So you want to use the Beat Buster to break all these, uh, towers, these huts here. And you'll see stuff comes out. You don't, really need, you don't really need the eggs. The eggs are just useless. Uh, they're just eggs. You don't really need them. Because they're eggs. Eggs are useless. You know they are. And right here, purple, purple moon, purple grublins, and then I think that's the only color of grublins. Just a little tri uh, beta fact, they actually used to be green. They were supposed to be green. That's, uh, that's beta fact right there. Yippee, you busted enough notes to break the first note door spell. Okay. Right here, this is an extra life. I've already showed one of these, but never grabbed it. That's the kind of sound it makes. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. That was a weird voice. And out come the Jiggy. There's all kinds of weird Jiggies in this game. And this game, honestly, is a very cryptic game. Um, you don't like, it's kind of like Zelda, except instead of focusing around getting from area to area, this game is focused around getting item after item. And, it, but it's almost as cryptic as Zelda. And if you like the Zelda games or collection games like Donkey Kong 64, uh, which actually Donkey Kong 64 is by the makers of this game, 
And so that is a proof this is a good game. If you like Donkey Kong 64, I really can't suggest this game to you. And that's all the Jinjos. They're usually harder than that, don't worry. And if you know me well, you'll know that I collect all the Jinjos and I don't even know it. And I'll be sitting there like, whoa, I got them all? Do you want to get all these notes? It takes a little while, I know. 69, huh? It takes a little while, but when you got them all, you'll be like, so triumphant. There's not very many here. So right here, this is Congo, or Conga, whichever character you're playing. Bear, this Congo's tree. Me hit bear with oranges. Yeah, if you're playing as Banjo, he's gonna be Conga. But, um, there's another character you can play as here, and only Congo for some reason. Don't touch Conga's blocks. Grr, clever bear, find Conga's gold. Okay, so let's go over here because this is your Chippy Kong. No, just kidding. Chippy Hungry wants orange now. Eat Chippy. So before I could read and I played this game, I was absolutely positive that was Diddy Kong. But well, you all know it wasn't. And I was like, what the fuck is Diddy Kong doing in this game? Hey, that car goes orange. Put it back. Yum, oranges are nice. Actually, I'm not a fan of oranges. Oh, Chippy like Kaga's orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. I'm actually more of a fan. No, you know what? I'm not going to go with the fruit conversation. This is not a very fruity person. <laughs> I am not a fruity person. So there's another Jiggy there, but we're not done here yet. You go up here, which also requires that Jiggy. Make sure you go over here first. Grab this bubble hook it, because I have bubble hook it always. Hit the switch. Let's see what this does. Now, just for the record, this is not a Mumbo's Mountain Jiggy. Do not leave when you have nine. Leave when you have ten. That is a Gruntilda's Lair Jiggy. So if you're wondering how to get 10 there, that's how you do it. Yes, I know switches. I know level. Time for the buzzer to learn the agent's ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold D, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Ugh, sounds painful, which I've never asked. Bird brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you're crouching. Egg sighting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. I'm not gonna read that anymore. Whoa, man, no, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Okay. You can only carry 100 eggs, but there's actually, later in the game, there is a cheat code you can get. It's part of the game. You get the cheat code. You don't have to enter it, but you get it. To have 200 eggs, and it helps a lot. Trust me. We stay here. Bear can't hit Conga. Egg hurt Conga. What the heck? Who's crazy now, bitch? I still have, you know, my future name and such. I love it. Why is he wearing a bra? Why is he wearing a bra? I just realized that. He is wearing a bra. Where are these cars got me a good price to bear? So that just proves how random this game is. Okay. Yes, this is a very random game. You like random stuff in your game. So, I'd say that was an episode well spent. We're almost done here, actually. So, in the next episode, we'll finish that level up and uh, maybe explore Grunty's Lair a little more. Yay.